Some of this work happening during the day, some of it at night. So if you're heading to or from Lake Tahoe over Interstate 80 anytime over the next few days, there are some things Caltrans would like you to be aware of. As we approach the unofficial end of summer, the beauty of the High Sierra beckons. Labor Day weekend travelers get a chance to savor the pine trees, the fresh air, the clean mountain water, and long construction delays on the freeway. Yes, there is a bit of a price to pay to reach all that beauty. Interstate 80 is having some work done. Be prepared. You need to be ready. Caltrans information officer Jeremy Linder is helping get the word out. Construction wise, we are still in full swing. Here's a map Caltrans posted online showing some of the many current projects in both directions of I-80 between Colfax and Truckee. If we detailed all of them, there wouldn't be time left over for sports and weather. But there is an article containing details and links posted on fox40.com. A lot of the work involves repaving or filling in the grooves carved out by tire chains over many winters. In summary, if you are heading to the High Sierra up Interstate 80 this week, you'll want a full tank of gas or a full charge and expect some delays. All of them have some sort of a lane restriction associated with that. So a two lane highway is going to get moved down into a single lane. It's not for the entire stretch. It's just for a couple of miles. Then it opens back up, but then you hit the second and third one. So it's just going to repeat itself. Caltrans will pause the pavement repairs Friday through Monday of Labor Day weekend when traffic is expected to be especially heavy. But between now and Friday, Linder says delays of up to two hours are possible. It's not that Caltrans is cramming all this work into the final weeks of summer. Many of these projects have been going on all summer. Some even carried over from last summer. And with winter looming, Caltrans wants to keep the work on track as much as possible. And I know this is a lot of work and it can get frustrating when you hit so many uh, within a short span uh, of time and distance. Uh, but just remember, th this is work that needs to get done. Our crews are trying to do it in a safe manner. That's why those lane restrictions are in place as well. So if you keep that in mind, stay safe and slow as you progress through each one. You'll get to the, your destination uh, safe and sound, and our crews will be able to go home to their families as well. In addition to the article on fox40.com with links about all of this, there's another great resource, and that is Caltrans Quick Maps. It's a website and an app with real-time traffic and road construction information 24-7. Live in the Sierra, covering local news that matters, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.